and all are racist and misogynist. Not to mention the Electoral hmm. College, yes. Well, now, the Electoral College is a horrible thing. That, uh, that's really got to go. Oh, my, my God. What we really need are more senators from the states that have larger populations. <clears throat> it shows you what civics are being taught these days and what the, the purpose of civics has become. Civics is no longer about how our system works, but about how the system can be made to work. Right, which means it's ultimately about subversion of the entire structure, which brings us back to leftists rewriting history. It's a revolutionary program. Yes, it is. But it's not enough to change what is there. It must be expunged. Totally and completely expunged. You mean our, our existing history? Yes, the real history. Which I guess brings us around to Mr. Churchill. Oh, goody old man Churchill. Ah, what a terrible fellow he is. One of the classic Islamophobes, you know. And he was. He was terribly Islamophobic. He, uh, he had no sympathy at all for Mohammed and his followers. Viewed them as barbarian savages. With good reason. Everywhere that uh, Mohammedanism had found a, a home, very shortly, the culture, not just the society, but the culture, wound down to barbarism. Or so Churchill saw it, because we certainly wouldn't assert, assert such a thing here within our safest of safe spaces. Oh, that's right. This is for safe space. Uh, yes. So, oh, Mr. Churchill horrible man that he was went in with his Islamophobic misogynistic whatnot and just ruined the world uh, he was as bad as Hitler just ask these people and they will be more than happy to acquaint you with Churchill's shortcomings they forget that he was the savior of the West he was the only man who had the balls to stand up to Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin. But he got talked out of Stalin very shortly. By old FDR, yes. And I wonder how much of what mm. we today, or many today, view as serious shortcomings of his character in the prosecution of the Second World War, um, that really, sh you know, what among these might, might best be chalked up instead to FDR? Tommy that he appears to have been. Mm -hmm. Well, you do have to remember that Churchill was responsible for Coventry. For those of our viewers unfamiliar with Coventry, Coventry was a major city in England. Uh, they had cracked Enigma. They knew that Coventry was slated to be bombed and decided that it was better to let Coventry be bombed than to give up the fact that they had cracked Enigma. So Churchill shouldered the burden of Coventry, a horrible burden, but one that is part and parcel of World War II and our victory in World War II. Well, you know, arguably our victory. It looks like, you know, we went into World War II and the commies got everything that they originally wanted and more. I mean, they got to partition. I mean, they got didn't just get half of Poland splitting it with, uh, with Hitler. They got all of it. And they got a whole bunch of everything that we say fell behind the Iron Curtain to boot. So, yeah, I'm not sure. And, and could you say that Britain was really successful in World War II? I mean, we're taking it far afield, but Lend-Lease crippled them. Their economy never recovered. We took over their sea bases abroad. We took over their role as the Navy policeman of the world. I mean, the UK never recovered, and Europe got um, half dominated by communists. Yes, it did, didn't it? So, I mean, how can we say that we won? And they threw Churchill out immediately after World War II. Yes. This in no wise detracts from his being the savior of the West. If it hadn't been for Churchill, 
the Nazis would have taken over all of Europe, all of it. They would have sat back and played games until we decided to interact with them through Russia. And we were interacting with them through Russia for quite a while. Churchill had Churchill is a man simply a man forced onto the stage of history and to be honest with you unfairly criticized for everything that went wrong everything there was little he could do. He was over here begging for Lynn Lease. Actually begging and touring the country. On his hands and knees, basically. <laughs> trying to get people to understand that Adolf Hitler meant us no good. This is the same time we had the, the German-American Bund in Fourth of July parades. The German-American Bund was like the American Nazi party. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that uh, the, the U.S., the idea of a U.S. special relationship with Britain is very much a recent concoction. You know, we didn't want to get involved in World War I, and yeah. arguably people like Alistair Crowley, according to some, you know, historians of espionage, were involved in getting us dragged into that war through, you know, things like uh, arranging for the Lusitania disaster to occur. You know, my goodness. the uh, the Brits were viewed. Not Alistair Crowley, my God. Yes, special agent. You can't mean it. Six, six, Not six, in the six. safest of safer spaces. Yes, well. So, but, but my point there is mainly that uh, we've concocted recently this idea of our special relationship with the UK, the United States, you know, all the way to your example of the German American Bund, bond, you know, union. Um, we have viewed, uh, understandably, the UK with great suspicion. We remember in the War of 1812 when they burned down the White House. You know, they're the damn redcoats that we didn't want anything to do with. And a considerable amount of manipulation and games had to be played to get the US to feel as though we're the special allies of the UK, which is what has emerged Absolutely. again in history. But now, back to this idea of uh, the rewriting of American history by leftists. We've seen it with statues. We've seen it with holidays. We've seen it with historical figures. And from everything that I can see, it's part of a unified program of a rewriting history in order to create um, this new view of all that came before in order to shape all that is to come. And uh, fundamentally, it mm -hmm. seems to be a bunch of commie bullshit. Um, do you Utopian bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, as the broader term, right?